Hello and welcome. You're listening to a very special hypnosis recording. This audio session will enable you to be more social, with confidence. It will also help you remove any barriers preventing you from being more social, whether these are conscious or unconscious. After using the session, you will have great peace of mind and you will be able to relax and enjoy your newfound ability to socialise. Just imagine being able to be more social so that you can socialise whenever, wherever, with whoever you choose. This programme was made with you in mind. It was carefully crafted to help you move deeper into your own self and to begin to shed light on the issues you are facing. This is not meant to be a substitute for counselling or professional help but rather a companion that is ready to support you whenever you feel you need it. I would like to commend you for taking a step today toward change. You have made a brave choice and you will be rewarded with greater insight as a result. Please make time in your daily life for reflection and contemplation. If you don't give yourself time and space, To grow and mature as an introspective human being, then you are sure to remain in the habits and patterns that have led you toward finding assistance in this hypnosis and NLP session. Let this audio programme be a tool in your toolbox and also collect other tools that will assist you, such as affirmations, positive people around you, healthy eating and living, and stress-reducing exercises like massage, meditation, nature walks, tai chi, or yoga. You have now decided to take your life back into your own hands. Congratulations! Make sure to listen to this recording in the most comfortable location and position that you can. You may choose to use headphones, or just listen in a quiet place. Allow your body to relax and your mind will follow along. You will be entering into a hypnotic or trance-like state. You will remain aware in the deep background of your mind, so there is no need to fear any loss of control, being manipulated or doing anything that you do not want to do. Be okay with the images and scenery that appear. You already experience trance states regularly throughout your day, like when you daydream or drift in thought. It is a natural way for the mind to rest. Your subconscious mind will attempt to organise itself, clearing out the ideas and thoughts that are no longer beneficial for you and holding on to the images and impressions that you need to keep yourself moving forward in your natural path of progression. Listen to this recording daily for optimum success. If you have limited time, then listen every second day. Doing this for 21 days in a row will help to bring you profound results and will probably change your life forever. Please, Never listen to this while you are handling machinery or driving a vehicle. Refrain from listening while under the influence of drugs, medications or alcohol. If you happen to suffer from epilepsy or a psychiatric condition, please consult your physician before proceeding. Being more social really has two components to it. First, there is knowing what to do and then there is feeling confident that you can do it. So this program will be divided into two parts. Not too surprising, really. In the first part, you will hear a series of ideas that will increase your social presence. As you listen to each idea, you may notice certain feelings coming up in you. You may be aware of thoughts that you want to resist the idea. You may hear a voice inside your mind that says things along the lines of I could never do that or what me? 
or something like that, depending on how you talk to yourself. And don't worry, everybody talks to themselves. And everyone has thoughts that limit them in this kind of way too. It's your brain's way of trying to keep you from what it thinks might be some kind of painful experience. In the case of being more social, the most commonly perceived danger is not being liked or being rejected. Although this is extremely unlikely to happen, your brain may want to try and avoid the risk altogether for you. So in the second part, you will hear a deeply relaxing process where in that soothing, calm state, you will discover how easily you can eliminate those kinds of thoughts and feelings. So in this first part, if those uncomfortable feelings come, just notice them and let them go, because you'll be dealing with them soon enough. Here then are a few ways you can be more social. Here are a few ideas you can implement starting immediately. First idea, introduce yourself to people more often. Whenever you see someone new, instead of waiting for them to make the approach, you can say, hello. It doesn't need to be anything complicated. Simply saying, hi, I'm Jason. I don't believe we've met, would be sufficient. Do that confidently, adding in a warm handshake and good eye contact and the job is done. You've broken the ice. You can comfortably walk away or just wait and see where the ball rolls next from there. Here's the next idea. Care about what somebody you don't often contact is doing. In other words, make a call, send an email or speak to them in person, to somebody you don't often make contact with and ask them what they're up to. You can break the silence if you haven't spoken for ages by simply being totally upfront about that. Just saying, I haven't been in touch for ages, but I was just thinking of you and I wondered what you're doing these days. Or words like that. That will usually be sufficient. If the person doesn't respond, you've lost nothing. And if they do, you've regained and possibly strengthened a friendship. Remember, everybody's favorite topic is themselves. And one more idea before we go through dealing with these emotional issues. These three notions will give your sociability profile a huge kickstart, but feel free to think up as many more as you wish. The third idea is be liberal with your invitations. When you are the welcoming one, the one with open arms, people warm to you more easily. If you find yourself drawn to someone at work, in a class or just in your neighborhood, create a way to spend some time with them and make the offer. Would you like to have a coffee sometime? Is gentle and open. I once met a woman who said to a woman in a class she was teaching, I feel a connection with you, but I don't know you. Is there something you think we could do together? I don't recommend this approach unless you genuinely feel it. But in that case, both women's lives were significantly changed. And in fact, one of them went on to become quite wealthy as a result of the series of events that unfolded over the following year. So you never know. I wish you a pleasant journey into your inner space. And I know that you will have a far greater calm and understanding and will be far more able to be more social once you have finished this session. You must now find a comfortable position. You can choose to sit back comfortably in a chair or on a sofa, in a recliner or on a bed. Once you have adjusted any restrictions in your clothing and settled into your spot, you can begin to accept the idea of letting go. You are ready now to work on developing your ability to be more social. You can begin to allow yourself the permission to enter in to a hypnotic state. In fact, go ahead and tell yourself that you are giving yourself full permission to let go. Knowing how easy it can be to be more social. 
if you just allow yourself to do it. In your mind or even out loud, tell yourself you are safe and you are eager to travel to the depths of your unconscious mind to learn to be more social. It is important that you believe yourself, that you trust yourself. This moment calls for self-love and trust and your sociability is beginning to increase already as your eyes begin to softly close. I want you to take a deep, slow breath in And now release the breath. That's good. Notice the quality of your breath. Does the breath flow into your chest or deeper into your belly? Pay attention to the next few breaths and make sure to follow them right down to your belly. Feel your belly rise on the inhale and four on the exhale. Be open to the idea that you can learn to be more social just as easily as you can monitor your breath going in and out. As you begin to deepen into this trance, it is necessary that you release any tensions in your body. Starting at your right foot, begin to release any muscles that you are still holding on to. Move up the right leg until you're at the knee. Just relaxing. And continue up to the right hip. Now do the same for the left leg. Starting at your left foot, begin to release any muscles that you are still holding on to. Move up the left leg to the knee and on until you're at the left hip. Just relaxing. Clear any tension in your hips. Let go of your deepest pelvic muscles. You may be clenching tightly and you don't even know it. So just let go. Continue to feel the rise and fall of your belly and let the heaviness of your arms and shoulders sink down and melt away. Feel the openness in the palms of your hands. Feel the expansive breath in your chest and abdomen. Open your jaw to stretch it and then release it. Let your eyes sink into your head until they are floating peacefully. Feel the tingling of the hair on your head and the lightness of the air around your face. You are ready now to move deeper inside, to release your inner self, who is more able to be more social fully. I will ask you to open your eyes one more time in a moment. When you close them again, you will sink into a wonderful floating softness and you will be ready to take a journey. Okay. Open your eyes slightly on your next inhale. Now close them on the exhale and step securely into the most relaxed state of awareness you can imagine. 
to help you relax deeper. I will lead you on a journey. Listen to the sound of my voice. Listen deep down inside. Of course you are. If you feel yourself drifting away at any time, just focus on the sound and vibration of my voice as they enter into your ears. You are doing so well already. You are beginning to feel more social with every breath you take. You can start your journey now. See yourself standing at the foot of a mountain. You are standing at the bottom and peering up to the top. You can barely make out the top of the mountain amongst the clouds. You wonder how you will ever be able to get to the top. For sure, this won't be a fast journey. You want to take your time and remember every detail. But you know that once you get to the top of this mountain, you will be able to completely relax. To learn how to be more social. Once you get to the top of this mountain, you will have climbed high enough to see your subconscious mind clearly. You will be deeply immersed in your trance and you will experience many moments of clarity. You will be able to be more social whenever you wish. But if you want to reach the top, you have to begin climbing. But take it slowly. You want to appreciate and remember every last moment. So take a deep breath and begin to walk up the mountain. There is a narrow path just ahead of you and it is spiraling upward to the top. You begin to walk this path, feeling the muscles of your legs working. You should know that as you climb higher and higher, your body will feel heavier and heavier and you'll go slower and slower. In fact, you will feel your physical body sinking deeper into the place where you are resting. You will be unable to move, heavy, like a rock. As the air thins near the top of the mountain, your mind will feel lighter and your thoughts will thin out until there is a quiet, alert emptiness in your mind. Keep your breath deep and steady and begin to move your arms to help yourself up the side of the mountain. Your whole body is moving strongly and you can feel all of your muscles working. You're sensing your ability to be more social getting better, aren't you? You're feeling sharper but more relaxed. Your body begins to feel heavier as you proceed further up the mountain. You pump your legs in a marching rhythm, a slow march. You hear the sounds of your footsteps methodically thumping as you take one step after another. Each step taking you closer to your quiet, unconscious mind each breath pressing you into a calm stillness. When you get about three quarters of the way to the top, you rest. You can always stop and take some time out to relax because you have control, even of your ability to be sociable. Standing in the fresh air, you take a deep breath in Feel the essence of your life force and you let the breath out and can sense that your trance is getting very deep now. You're almost to the top, almost completely immersed in your trance, so near yet so far, and your physical body feels heavy and distant. 
You continue climbing the last quarter of the mountain and your body is feeling very heavy. The air around you is soft. Your thoughts are very few now and there is a tingling around your skin. You can begin to see the end of the path ahead of you and you know that once you reach the top, you can rest and relax. You step up to the peak of the mountain and you got there. You're very grateful to be able to finally let go and relax into the depths of your consciousness. Take a moment to see the sights. In all directions, there is perfect visibility. From this vantage point, you will be able to see everything that supports you and everything that holds you back. You will have more control of your ability to be more social. You are at the highest point on the mountain, but at the deepest point of your subconscious mind. And it is clear clear and relaxed, with no difficulty being social. You're ready now to get to the bottom of your issues, aren't you? You decide to sit down with your back against a rock. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Allow your body to completely release the effort of the climb. Take a deep breath in and feel the clean and calming air spreading through your body. You release the breath and notice the connection you have to this mountain. You are safe, part of the rock that you rest on, part of the air that you breathe. You are supported by everything around you and you can enter even more fully into your quietness. And I don't know whether your tendency to be more social will increase more now or later, and it doesn't matter. Your mind is quieting and opening, and your breath is deepening. You're ready to begin again, at the beginning. So begin to notice that you can easily wonder about what it's like when you think about people you admire for their easy sociability. You may think of men or many other ladies or gentle ways of being social. And you can allow your thoughts to pick a favourite. Someone who has the right balance of easy, flowing social skills. Knows when to move in and out of conversations. When to smile. Just seems to make the right amount of eye contact. That's right, the kind of person who is kind by nature and is comfortable being with themselves. And it can be so pleasing when you remember that all human beings have the same need inside, the need to be liked. And you can say to yourself, This person I'm with needs to be liked just like me. As you continue to remember and imagine the person who has such easy social skills, it doesn't matter who came to mind. It could even be a character from a movie or a story. You can focus on how they use their body and the facial expressions they have as they easily interact. That's right. Notice those details. Notice how quickly or slowly that person moves. 
and notice how they seem to breathe, how they use their voice. All the while, at the back of your mind is that understanding that that person wants to be liked just like you. That person wants to be liked by you. And you can imagine that that person is standing in front of you now. And you can see them as clearly as if you were looking in a mirror at yourself. Just imagine that that could be happening now. And the mirror is soft, softening, so you can step inside and you can become that person now. That's very good. Put yourself inside the reflection and you can be that person. Imagine you could step into their body Feel the muscles in your face, the way you use them to smile. In this borrowed body, the way you use your eyes. How you offer a handshake, feel it. Notice how easy and flowing it all seems. That's right. And as you do that, you notice something else. As you compare the thoughts and feelings that come up, you will discover some differences. Some of those differences will be big compared to the kind of thoughts and feelings you had earlier when you were just listening to the ideas of how to be more social. And you can remember as you are in this new physiology and your muscles and your nervous system are learning new ways of being confident in social situations, that everyone you meet just wants to be liked, just like you. Your mind can simply adjust to that pattern as it says automatically to you, everyone I meet wants to be liked, just like me. They all want to be liked by me. And you can imagine yourself now introducing yourself to somebody in a group, some social scenario, and using your new physiology and saying in your mind, everyone I meet wants to be liked just like me. They all want to be liked by me. You imagine yourself approaching someone like that and you can imagine that you can hear yourself say as you use your new face and voice and eyes and hands and whole being in this new and gentle way, hi, I'm and put your name here. I don't believe we've met. Feel it. Just notice how that person responds. Become aware that for them, it would be almost impossible to respond differently. Warmth from you, like warmth from a fire, warms other people and they like to feel warmth. And you will remember Everyone I meet wants to be liked, just like me. They all want to be liked by me. And as you remember that, again, you continue to use your new physiology and you can imagine making contact with an old friend or acquaintance. That's right, very good. Staying in your new body's physiology Allow yourself to discover how much more easily the words to make that connection come compared to before. And your body and your mind and your whole being are learning new ways, new pathways of doing some things 
so easily. And you are finding it easier and easier to be more social. And being social and socialising is being more easy. And those words will come back to you. Everyone I meet wants to be liked, just like me. They all want to be liked by me. And you can imagine all the exciting opportunities there will always be to invite people to share time in so many special ways. And people are so interesting. You will always be fascinated because everyone has a story. Everyone has a life that is different from everyone else's. And it's so easy to invite those you are drawn to to share some time when you remember everyone I meet wants to be liked just like me. They all want to be liked by me. Just like that. Like you like it. And you will like yourself and you will like your life. And some people will always like you like that. You are ready now to make the journey back down the mountain with a desire to be more social. Each step down the mountain will move you out of your deep hypnosis and back into the present moment where you can make contact with others. And as you leave your trance, you will bring with you the lessons you have learned. You can move forward and leave the old you in the past. Leave any unsociable patterns in the past. When you reach the bottom of the mountain, you will be fresh and new. Begin to hike down the path and you feel life coming slowly back into your body. The path is winding slowly around the mountain. Each step along the path brings you greater strength. But there is no need to rush. You can enjoy the flowers along the path. Maybe you see wildlife moving through the trees. Your connection to the mountain is strong. You're supported with each step you take back along the path to your awakened self, remembering everything you wish to remember about how to be more social. Halfway down the mountain, you can feel your breath. Continue to walk easily down the mountain, at times feeling like you're floating. You feel as though you're being pulled by a friendly force. It is calling you back to your present moment self. It's pulling you closer to your physical body resting here in this room until you're almost at the bottom of the mountain now. There are only a few more steps until you reach the bottom. When you reach the end of the path, you will awaken out of your trance. You experience these steps in slow motion. Advancing one more step, take a deep breath in. Taking two more steps and let the deep breath out. Walk the last two steps, breathing in, and you're now at the bottom of the mountain. Let the breath out and feel yourself resting firmly in your body. You can feel the fullness of your muscles and bones. You're completely aware of your skin and clothes. Gently and slowly, open your eyes. You may choose to remain in the position that you are in. If you like, you can fall asleep. You may decide to rise and stretch out, but know that you have created positive energy. You are most definitely headed in the right direction. Be certain you know how to be more social now and know that you have the power to change. You're bound to have great success. Thank you for listening. Please return to this recording daily or as often as you feel necessary. It will continue to support you on an ongoing basis and repetition will reap rewards.